Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, can we be saved without ever reading the Bible? Some people place a very large emphasis on the role of the scriptures in our salvation, so I think it sometimes helps to take a step back and ask some honest questions about it. In order to answer the question about whether reading the Bible is needed for salvation, we should start by taking a look at the history of the Bible. In a certain sense, the books of the Bible have existed since just slightly before 100 AD, when the Apocalypse of St. John was written, what we now call the Book of Revelation but they weren't compiled into an actual list of sacred books until around the early 200s, and it wasn't until 325, at the earliest, that anyone used the word Bible to describe it, and probably later than that. It existed primarily in Greek, using a translation of the Hebrew scriptures called the Septuagint, which was one of several early versions used by St. Jerome to create what's known as the Latin Vulgate in 382 AD, the main Catholic translation of the Bible based on the Septuagint, the original Hebrew scriptures, and an old Latin version that was in use at the time. It remained that way for centuries because Latin was the dominant language of the learning world, and only learned people could read anyway. Certain rich folks would pay to have it translated into their native languages, but generally, having a Bible is something that would have been impossible for anyone except the very rich until the invention of the printing press by German printer Johannes Gutenberg in 1450. The first book that he ever printed was a copy of the Latin Vulgate, which contained the full canon of 73 books in it, just as it always had. It was untarnished by those who would service in 1517 and start doing to the Bible whatever they pleased. Since then, anyone with a printing press and a lot of free time has been able to print heavily edited, almost, Bibles. What we call the King James Version is one result of this artificial tampering with the scriptures. It contains some unaltered verses, but it's not the full Bible. There are many other altered translations, some more faithful to the spirit of the original, and others, like the New World Translation of the Jehovah's Witnesses, less faithful. So considering that the compiling of the Bible was such an uphill climb, that so many inaccurate or incomplete versions exist, and that most people throughout history couldn't read in any language, I think if reading the Bible was needed for salvation, that would make God profoundly unfair, and therefore imperfect, and therefore not God. Next, how can we prove what books really belong in the Bible? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.